32.4 million Naira new notes meant for vote buying intercepted in legal state. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has intercepted the sum of 32 million 400,000 Naira allegedly suspected to be used for vote buying in Saturday's election in Lagos. The anti graft agency, in a statement via Twitter, stated that the suspects involved was taken into custody for questioning. The EFCC further implored the general public to report anyone trying to buy or sell votes during the election. The statement reads, The massive operation by the EFCC to deter vote trading and other financial activities ahead of tomorrow's presidential and national assembly elections may have begun paying dividends. With the interception in Lagos of the sum of 32,400,000 Naira, allegedly suspected to be used for vote buying in Lagos. The recovery was made by operatives of the, of the Lagos Zonal Command of the Commission. The suspects involved has been taken into custody for further questioning. The chairman of the commission, Abdul Rashid Bawa, has employed all personnel of the commission deployed for election monitoring duties to show courage and not give room for unscrupulous persons to determine the integrity of the elections through financial inducement. Tactical teams of operatives are currently on ground in all the states of the Federation and the FCT. Telephone hotlines have already been circulated through social media for members of the public to share information regarding financial malpractices with agents of the Commission. Members of the public are encouraged to report anyone trying to buy or sell votes by making use of the EFCC Financial Crimes Reporting app, Ego Eye, which is available for download on the Google Play or Apple Store. Wow, so this is the shocking news coming from the EFCC. I think it's just a period of discovering money left, right and center. Just this morning, we heard about the Honorable Chinyeri, who was caught with a large amount of money and people are still in shock to be like, so that kind of money are actually being held by our politicians for vote buying. Hmm. Now we understand why the kicking against the new design Naira, especially its scarcity, has been so prevalent. And the question we're going to ask is, how did 32.4 million Naira new notes get into the hands of a person, a politician, that wants to allegedly use it for vote buying. Because no sane person who doesn't have the mind to do vote buying at this time would have the new note of 32.4 million Naira cash. Ha! Huh. Straight from the means kind of money, that is serious. Whereas a lot of Nigerians are crying every day, not having access. So did he move from central bank to the politician's hand? Or did he move from central bank to the commercial bank, which is the normal channel, now to the politicians? Those are questions we can answer. But this is what the EFCC are just announced on their social media platforms. So let's wait and see. Maybe they are going to, you know, disclose the name of the person who was caught with this large amount of money or not. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. To our new subscribers, thank you so much for joining. And to our existing subscribers, thank you, thank you for always stopping by. Tomorrow is the 25th of February 2023. Please, let's go out en masse to go and vote for the man who will be the best suited for this job. Nigeria needs to turn around for good. And it starts tomorrow. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye for now.